Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. Now, I've taken a slightly different tone for this video because this book had a profound effect on me and continues to do so to this day. And I think it's something which you can read whether or not you have an existing uh, spiritual nature because um, I had no spiritual nature before reading this book but as I read it I found that many of the things expressed in it were views that I already had and in that way Buddhism which is what the book is about um, uh, I don't think it challenges uh, in in the way that the theistic religions do. Now, I was given this book by a friend of mine that I went to school with um, the year after my last stroke. And at, the, at that point, we didn't think I'd be alive. I, frankly, I was lucky to be alive at that point, least of all uh, any, any longer. And um, I went with him to Thailand. Uh, the island, oh, I can't remember what it was, um, small island in, in Thailand. And I'm reading this book. Uh, we went for a month uh, back in the day, and uh, I'm reading through this book. Now, he'd gone out there to, uh, to buy a, a woman for his the duration of his uh, stay. And I got to say that I've never seen or been aware of such a, uh, a seedy and um upsetting i think for 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 any human being that cares about other human beings to see these young girls um have to allow men to abuse them for money because they they can't afford to feed themselves um and i'm reading this book and i'm at the section called compassion and whilst we can't change what other people are experiencing we can always have compassion for their plight no matter what it is and it really struck a chord with me because Right, so my friend's in the bar, and everyone's, I don't drink, uh, and they're all, you know, eh, it's all party, and everyone's, you know, having a good time. Um, but because I wasn't the, the typical um, tourist, so I wasn't looking for female company in that way, so we ended up playing Connect Four on the bar. And these girls who, you know, broken, broken English clearly, because I don't speak Thai, um, were there for men and I I started playing connect four with them and they thrashed me time and time and time again really really astute now I mean I only play connect four with like four or five different girls in Thailand but each of them I thought my god but for where you've been born you're life experience would be so different someone with your mind would be the ceo of a company would be an entrepreneur would be an amazing individual but for the things that many of us take for granted certainly i take them for granted and reading about compassion and seeing this and understanding this um completely changed my view on on the sex trade and completely changed my view with regard to a, a, he's now a former friend um it was a very uh, profound experience and then there's another line in the book so many many good things in there but something that really stuck with his, with me as well there's a line in there uh, about food and the line says take what you need eat what you take it's a simple line and the meaning I took from that enabled me so there was a in fact we, there's regular stories about the amount of food that goes wasted uh, about 30% of a average households budget or food budget is put in the bin 
and this is a situation that everyone goes oh it's terrible terrible thing but they still continue with the behaviors which which strikes me as slightly weird and so listen you're not going to be like me because i live alone i don't have to please anyone i do what i like so i'm free in a in a way that many of you are not but since i read that book in 2007 the only food that has gone wasted were um two uh pickled onions and the rice that gets stuck on the inside of the bag of rice when you get it um because i buy prepare eat what i need what i want with a forethought so thinking about what you're eating and i produce a serving that will satisfy me until the next meal time so there is no wastage there is no leftovers there is nothing is ever wasted and so i've taken that line from the book and by using it in a certain way i've produced a completely different life and it saves me 30 percent of my food budget so i can afford to eat food which of a higher quality so there are many things within your power um i've done a uh, a video about choices before but many things are within your power and i think that this book gives you a well, it certainly gave me additional perspectives which i didn't have but which when i read them out already resonated with me all right look uh, another book to come and i'll see you again have a nice day and cheers bye